It is August 5th, 2019, and welcome to another Brooklyn Baritone podcast. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm talking about habits, habits today. Yes, those those things that we usually think of in a negative aspect of things that we need to stop or things that we need to pick up on or different things we need to change. Everything I talk about is all related to each other, but there's different focal points of things that make up what we are and what we do. Starting off with habit, the definition of a habit, a settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. Let's say that one more time. So I mess up the especially part. A settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. So basically, habits are practice mindsets or actions and lifestyles that become hard coded into our state of being. These are the things that, you know, people bite their fingernails. It's a habit. A lot of people wake up early, I mean, five on a dot. 4.30 or like five minutes before their alarm. That's mm-hmm. kind of a, it's a habit. You know, some people like to just drink juice or whatever while they eat. That is a habit. So many things that we do that are habits. Uh, one of my habits is that you may see me blink a lot. I don't know if I do it on the production here, but a lot of my habits, um, one of many of them, I blink a lot because my eyes are dry. Um, I don't really need glasses, but you know, I have a prescription for it. It, it kind of helps to that in a sense, but I need to get eye drops on a regular. So a lot of times my eyes are already kind of slim and I blink a lot cause they're dry. So people may think and look at me like, you know, what is wrong? And is it a nervous condition? Is it a tick or whatever? It's just, no, it's not the case. It's just the fact that I, um, I just don't use eye drops the way I'm supposed to. So when they get dry, I blink a whole lot. And I don't realize it, but I'm so used to it. Only when I'm very cognizant of it. And that's like rarely. So you know, that's a form of, of a habit. And, you know, if you have your mind focused on it, you can stop it or not. Anything. Anyways, go forward about with habits. Because you know I'm going to get into what's the deal with habits. Um good ones, bad ones, they all make up who we are and what we do and how we do it. Uh, the thing about habits is I'm going to take uh, a beautiful quote written, spoken many times, it's scripture. It's from Proverbs 23. Yes, I'm, I'm talking from the Bible. For as he thinketh, so is he. It's that simple. For as he thinketh, not just he, for male, women too, so is he. So whatever you have up here, you program with, that is what you will become. That is you. Our habits direct us in our lives every single day. Like I said, they become hard-coded. When I said habits are practice mindsets that become hard-coded into our state of being. Much like how code directs computers, code directs systems, codes direct machines, AI, all that stuff is coding. That's why one of the uh, better uh, sought after um, technical positions, IT, tech world, is coding. Because you're basically making the blueprint for how all these systems work. This camera that I'm using is coded. So the camera that I have is coded it. My smartphone is coded it. The laptop I have coded it. Directs them how to do certain things, certain functions in whatever manner they need to do it. Now, when we're hard coded now, those usually are formed by habits. And the habits are the things that allow us to do what we do, how we do it, when we do it. Talked about some bad habits, you know. Biting nails. Uh, you're not supposed to really drink while you're eating. That's one thing a lot of people don't know. That's, that is a bad habit. Um, some people sneeze without turning, averting their face 
or covering their mouth or just cough. That that's a terrible habit to have. It's a habit. Um, some people like to use a toilet and don't flush it. That's a terrible, disgusting habit. We all have all types of different habits, different levels. So those are examples of some bad ones. You know, some people just automatically spend a bunch of money before they pay their bills. That's a habit. And some people pay all their bills, uh, uh, sometimes a little too much, and have nothing left for themselves afterwards. So those are both bad habits, different sides of the spectrum, but same effect. Uh, some positive habits. A lot of people like to emulate positive habits. The positive habits are the ones that people see that seek after to achieve goals, usually try and get more money, and, you know, certain things like that. Because uh, you, you may see someone around you that you may want to emulate. Like, you know, they're always going to work early. Or these guys, this guy is always, you know, doing their task on time. Or she is so thorough with what she does, how she does it. You know, let me at least pick something up from her. You know, because I understand she has apparently some sort of good habits that are hard coded into her to allow her to operate in a certain manner. One of the articles and videos that we always come across, um, there's no shortage of them. And people pay good money for these things as well. People pay a lot of attention as well for these things. Is that usually you would see something like the top five of, um, habits of effective people or top five habits of successful people or the top five habits of millionaires and billionaires. Cause people, you know, they, they want to get money. They want to be successful. They want to have more order. They want to be able to achieve certain things and make the most out of their day. Now, this is why I do what I do. Um, I'm making the most out of my day because this is what I like doing. Other than, you know, doing IT, what I do in the professional field. But I also like to talk to people for the things that I've learned, things that I've read about. At least, you know, uh, if you know me on on social media, usually on Instagram and or Facebook, I would usually promote at the least two books a month. I don't read, read as much as I used to when I was younger. I still read, but I go through audio books. And it takes a while if you're not used to it to learn how to take notes. There's times I jot things down when I can, but things I bookmark in my head of certain things to pick up from this book and pick up from that book. The books I usually listen to and give my attention and money to uh, leadership development, all around the same thing from different people, different parts of life. But when you really look at it, they all come back and equate to pretty much all the same things. So the things that I know I've learned and the things that I've experienced in my personal life, home life, professional life, and any and everything else in between, it applies. And not everything I applied, many things I do apply, and many things I already was about that life anyway. That's why it resonated with me. Uh, so I share that. This is what I'm doing. I, I like to talk, and I'm sharing that with you. My wife says I like to talk. I do like to talk. Um, but I like sharing. I like, if anything, promoting. If I can't physically or make something tangible for someone to uh, be in a better state of mind, at least me put something forth in words. And, you know, words are is actually making things tangible in a sense. So one of the habits I would say, start reading, you know, books, audio books. That's actually going to gr gravitate towards you with what you want to do. With something you know that's inside of you, that's going to pull it out. And you can manifest that and make it tangible and then grow, you know, take that seed, plant it, water it, give it the proper light and warmth that it needs so you can do what you need to do. Get that out of you. But back to our habits here. Of course, going over my own notes that I put usually for these podcasts to be a little bit more, uh, more um, organized, a habit that I brought up anyways. Okay. Usually it would be something like, you know, out of the top five habits, effective people, rich people, it usually be something along the lines of waking up early, writing down plans and goals, being consistent, reading, learning something conducive to your own growth and your goals. That's usually going to be hand in hand. And it's going to be people who are um, proper leaders, proper effective people, proper people who actually have a mindset of what they want to do and how they want to do it and have an idea of what they want to do. And how they want to get there. Usually have to have an idea, have a plan, and then execute it. That's the simplest form of it. 
but then you have to have habits that link everything together, that make it possible, that make it easier to do. Uh, one of the most recent habits that I've done, because, you know, I need to, you know, of course, lose some weight and get, you know, this body looking right, because I, I am strong. I'm not bragging, but I am strong, but it's like, you know, not as strong as I as I need to look and want to look. So I just started going to the gym on the regular. And uh, it's actually not too bad because my mind was there. I was ready for it. So one of the habits I did was like make sure I go to sleep by at least maybe around 8.30. And I'm up 3.30, 4 o'clock at the gym, do my bit, um, whether it's cardio or weights, whatever I have planned out for that day. And then, you know, get home, shower, have enough time to, you know, get myself together and be out with the rat race, you know, for my regular job. That's paying for everything I can do here right now for the time being. That's a habit. Many people want to do that and they admire it and they do have a burning desire, but they just don't have that habit down packed yet. They have the bad habit of like, I got to get up early to do this. And 11 o'clock, they're watching TV. 11 o'clock, they're on their phone. 12 o'clock rolls around. Sometimes some people just can't sleep for whatever reason. Got other things going on in the world and therefore have things going on in your head. But you have to get to the point where you want to develop these habits to be effective the way you want to. Because I don't really want to go to the gym in the afternoon because that's when everybody's at the gym. The only two times that I prefer would be early in the morning or late at night in the evening, probably around maybe 10 o'clock at the night or get up early and go get to it. And that's better. You, you do it, get your workout in and um, kind of get it out the way. And if you want to do anything extra later on, OK, you, you got the rest of the day. But that's why I love the mornings, early in the mornings, because you get things done and you get things out the way. So now you have the rest of the day. Now, if you also want to chill, you could chill because guess what? You already dedicated the first part of the day to being productive. That's a habit. So now if you want to chill, you could chill. If you got other things to do, guess what you got other things to do. You got that weight of getting things done early off your shoulders as opposed to waking up at a regular time and then you want to go outside where everyone else is going outside. And then there's, you know, more traffic and more things and you got to go here and go here. Mm. That's not for me. That's one of my habits is I just happen to wake up early, you know, Um, and it's actually been cool with me waking up, going to the gym. That's one thing, Uh, you know, writing down plans and goals. I always promote that. My old podcast, Minky Tangible, that's a habit that I have to write things down. Now, I may not write things down every single day, but I utilize notepads, but I also use Google Docs. You know, because, listen, you have a cell phone, you have a smartphone, utilize it. Don't just buy the, the greatest and latest just because it's the greatest and latest. This is a powerful device you have. And many people in the world would love to have something like this, and they cannot. So if you have it, and if you're blessed to have it, utilize it to its maximum potential. Because this is basically, you know, my workmate. Not just I talk and play games on it, but I also conduct work. You know, I write things down, things that I think about, I write it down so I could actually access it either on the phone locally or on my laptop or anywhere else I may have access to my account. So I could go back and add or go back and look and reflect on certain things. But when you, you know, there's something about writing something down or typing it out that puts more validity, more impact in your thoughts and your and your words. So that's an effective thing that I've seen is a habit that people have. In many books that I've read and things that I do myself and one of my coworkers, old co-workers too, I don't know if he's going to want me shouting him out, but you know, Donald Smith, you know, he saw like I got too much stuff in my head and from how he is and what he's going through in his experiences, like write it down. My previous office where I used to work, um, after that hit me, I was like, you know what? You're right. I have white boards, not a white board, white boards just filled with stuff. Ideas that I want, visions that I had, tasks that I had to do. That is another beautiful habit to have. Now, I'm not to say to line up your whole wall filled with whiteboards or or whatever, but write it down in a journal, in your phone, because your phone has it. Whatever phone, your iPhone, Android, whatever, your laptop, whatever you got, write things down. So you write it down, it gives a little bit more validity. So you may want to, you may be more inclined to revisit that idea. That's another beautiful habit that you need to do to invest in yourself more. That's investing time in yourself. 
being consistent. A lot of people are struggling or do struggle or have struggled with being consistent. There's some things I'm consistent with. There's some things I am not that I want to be and need to be more consistent with. It needs to be, you know, set that habit. Sometimes you just have to be there like we're just tired of it, you know, you're, you're comfortable being uncomfortable. You're just tired. You want to switch things up to get to where you need to go to. And you may also just, you know, need just to be there mentally, you know, because sometimes people do things when they're just ready. Not because, you know, they're just resilient to certain changes. It's just like something just didn't click yet. It's there. The ingredients are there. Just didn't come together to bake that, you know, that cake. You know, if you want to get it together properly, mix properly and bake properly. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready. Sometimes it's what it is, unfortunately. And as much as you want to force people or shake people up to do things, they're not going to do it till they're ready. But at the same time, they do have to make you have to make the proper and positive forward effort to do these things. Another one here is um, I think it's the last one I have is reading and learning something new or conducive to your growth or your goals. That's what I said audiobooks, or if you like reading, read. Reading is very good, actually. Um, whenever I do slow myself down and do it, and I'm in a proper environment, um, that's a goal to have, is to have, you know, uh, the proper home space and have a study of books. And it's, it's quiet. No TV in there. No noise in there. Just you and the books and the chair. And that's a habit. And that's one of my goals, too, actually. All right, so going forward, habits not only affect and shape individuals, they affect and shape the whole world. Individuals make up communities. Communities make up townships and cities. Townships and cities make up nations and countries, etc., etc. So just because something's happening something somewhere over there, thousands of miles away, that can affect us. And just because other people are minding their business and going about their lives, people be walking right by, even people in your household or your job, you affect them and they affect you. When people move a certain way based on how they are hard coded because of their habits. Some people are so pleasant because they're just so used to saying, hey, good morning, you have a, a bright face on. And people who are genuine about it, you could feel it, you know, and that actually translates to good energy to other people and other people. You just know they're just, you know, angry, just rude, just a grouch this is what it is. But it, it affects people. It affects everything. Habits is what make us who we are. Um, one thing I wanted to go into as well. Any nation in history that collapsed or failed from internal issues was because of destructive habits. Many nations that did collapse, many different reasons, could it be economy, outside force, but anything, any, most nations that we know of, especially the grand ones, fell from the inside because of destructive habits. Rome is definitely a place that fell because of its habits. Same thing with Greece. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of other nations so anybody getting at me about, you know, history lesson, but this is the gist of what I'm saying. Um, Rome had some fantastic and grand technology for its time that still affects us today. Grand architecture amazing architecture you know this is one of them you know we have many other nations and civilizations this is not the only one but it's the one of most recent times of you know i guess old ancient times i guess um many you know systems as well for handling societies is still in place today a lot of things are in place today that was developed from rome and before rome greece and before greece many other civilizations you know, as well, you know, from, from, from Kemet, from Babylon, we have so many other nations where they produce so much grand things, but can't forget we have certain foundations. We have certain actually laws 
that make everything work. And these laws that make everything work affect us because we are part of everything. And everything is part of us. We affect everything. And everything affects us. If we have good habits, then we can have a good positive effect on everything around us and our own lives. We have bad habits. It leads to abuse of things around us, abuse of ourselves, destruction, eventually, either immediate or long term. And it will set the tone for how we move. Again, like I said before, individuals make up communities. Communities make up townships and cities. Townships and cities make up nations and countries. So it always comes down back to the individual. No matter how much we want to mind our businesses, and our business is our business or whatever, our business is not our business. Our business, our habits affect other people. This idea of just being you, you, your own unit or doing your own thing or, you know, worrying about your own bills or worrying about getting your own money, you know, uh, I can understand to an effect because of some people who just, you know, yeah, you need to get yourself together. Yes, you do. And not drag anybody else down in your drama or nonsense. But you also need to have that mindset, too, that you affect everyone. And we have this habit of just always reciprocating uh, us getting more things, not caring about so much about people and getting a habit of, especially here in the Western culture, of complaining about things that we have it so good. Uh, people who got money and got decent money, people who are struggling here. All right. I'm not going to say that everyone here is walking on a road of gold over here, but we have so much more options available to us more than so much other people in other parts of the world, even people that are in the very same state that we are in within the same t five block radius that we're in, because we don't know who's struggling with what. But at the same time, we have so much things available to us where people, their whole day is ruined if their if their Frappuccino or Espresso is not to their liking for that morning. People who cuss, they go to work with just angry and stuff. Oh, she got my order wrong. I understand that. Cool. You know, you know, I could understand, but it doesn't have to be that serious. And this is a regular thing, especially here in New York City. You know, excuse, excuse my own alarm there. It's this insane of how much things that we have gotten so used to doing out of habit that is negative because we're kind of so used to having things a certain way or wanting things a certain way. And remember, we have to, you know, conform ourselves to, you know, to a proper, you know, rigid mindset at times, depending on what we need to do and understand there's a lot more going on outside of us. Okay. Now, going back to what I was saying about Rome, uh, so much grand uh, things that is done. So many things that they have contributed to, to the world around them. Yes, taken by force. They have also been uh, influenced by other nations, you know, that they took over or at least, you know, been around. So it's not just totally them, like they're just totally, you know, these grand intellects. No, they, they, you know, had a force enough to go and affect the rest of the world. Yes, but they fell because of their habits. Many immoral things that people don't talk about that this nation has done. And past nations have done. People talk about the grand architecture, grand this, grand that, but they don't talk about the individuals and their habits. Okay? You can have a lot of grand things about you. Same thing if you make it big. But if you don't really have anything, you know, of substance within you, you're going to be empty. With good habits, reflect a healthy mind and spirit. We need good habits to enforce a good work ethic, a good ethic to carry yourself, ethics to take care of other people around you, take care of what you have been blessed with, things that have been, you know, charged to, for your responsibility. A lot of habits break us down. And I'm definitely going to say that in this country here, we have a lot of terrible habits individual habits that turn to communal habits for everyone across the board. People just don't care about other people. You know, they don't really, they, they automatically feel if, if you are in a bad spot in this world, if you're struggling, if you're broke or whatever, you're in jail, then it's all your fault. 
not ever really thinking that, you know, maybe some things is not working out because the, the, whatever systems are in place are broken. They're broken and they are not conducive to a proper mindset for everyone in this country and outside this country. A lot of bad habits, the habit of actually pleasing yourself. That's a big problem. That's what a lot of nations used to basically give into. A lot of um, sacrifices. Because if you want to go into history, you got to go into history. Talk about everything. Don't talk about the contributions. Talk about how the people conducted themselves. That's what makes a nation. Yeah, we could have a boast about the biggest military and everything and all types of wealth and whatever. What are the habits of the people? Do, are they, are they, uh, look to be to self gratify themselves all the time? Do they want instant gratification all the time? Are we always divided, divided, divided into different groups all the time? The blacks, the whites, the Asians, the minorities, the red, the blue, the left, the right. Democrats, Republicans, all divisiveness. And these are, again, our habits of people. Our people used to just doing what they want to do. Do people just do what they want to do all the time? Because you're just doing what you want to do, going off of your own desires, which is a habit of individual, individuals, communities of a nation. And you have a problem because there's no checks and balances there. Everyone, everyone has a habit of worrying about themselves. I just want to do what makes me happy. Does that sound familiar? I just want to be happy. I just want to do what I want to do to be happy. Can't live like that. You got to look out for other people too. These are the things that bring down nations. These are the things that destroy people. These things destroy households. These things destroy mindsets. They destroy everything. Either you could see the immediate impact of that kind of habit, mindset, that hard-coded action, or you'll see it in the long run. You may need little dribs and drabs, but after a while, you know, enough drips is going to overflow the whole bathtub. Just like in the cave systems, the lag might stalagmite after enough drips it gets to a gigantic stalagmite you let it roll it's gonna you're gonna after a while you're gonna have something major to, to contend with we all have to really really look at what habits we we do have you know because people who bite their nails they have no nails so they can't really scratch anything properly or something falls on the floor like a penny or a piece of paper they gotta struggle certain packages they can't open because they keep biting your nails you gotta you know try and get past that when people just go to sleep too late, put a, put control on yourself. People have a habit. Men have a, you know, not all men, please. A good amount of men have the habit of wanting to talk to every woman that comes his way. God, you got to chill with that. A lot of people have a habit of just throwing garbage all over the place in New York City. You could either, you know, help by just cleaning up where you are or just not even do that hold your trash so you throw it in a proper trash can trash bin receptacle all that stuff all you know you could see what habits are bad because you see it's detrimental it's destructive it causes a lot of things to be thrown off of balance makes every uh, place around you really bad you make you a bad person to be around Good habits, you know, if people had good habits like New York City, the other cities, this would be a clean city. And clean not just in the physical trash, but the trash that comes out of people's mouths. Not just swearing or cursing either, but just a lot of people just talk. A lot of things that, that doesn't contribute to any kind of growth in any way, shape, or form whatsoever to anyone. Your habits will affect everything around you. Um, I would love to go on further, but I'm right at my mark where I usually want to cut it short. But think about this. Look at certain habits that you know, you know what you may have. And if anything, you have people around you who will who will pick up on your bad habits, too. You know, and some people, they, they figure like you have bad habits, but they work with it. 
But if your app is like so bad, you know, or so detrimental, people ain't trying to work with you or they'll just get to the point of frustration, you know, and they'll let you know. But, you know, if you can't listen to your own gut, listen to others, what others are saying about you. Hopefully they they are not destructive people and have the habit of talking trash out their mouth to destroy, but to actually lift you up or be genuine about it and do it in a proper manner, you know. But habits are hard, or what we are hard-coded with. What are you programmed with? Are you programmed with good things? Are you programmed to go forward? Or are you programmed to keep following the same pattern that's going to reciprocate the same cycle of destruction, of frustration, of anger, and of anxiety? You need to get that all out of your system. Develop good habits. Look at people you can emulate. Or if you know what you want to do, then just go ahead and do it. Get rid of the bad habits. Develop new good habits. We are always about growth, progressive movement forward individually and communally. This is what I'm about. So my habits is putting out a weekly podcast. That is one definite habit that I have that I want to share with you, with everyone. Anyways, everyone, talked enough about this. Love you all. Be good. Be blessed. Talk to you guys next week.